The lady said, I was here with um, Third Movement. I wanted to bring a video to you guys. I want to talk about being honest with God. Um, a lot of times we, we, we get in our prayers and sometimes we will be at a point where we need to be honest with God, but instead of being honest with God, we'll try to put up a facade of thank you, of, of, of being thankful. Oh, Lord, I, I, I just want to thank you. But knowing that there's some stuff that's in your life that you really need to be honest to him about, and it's not like he don't know, you know? For example, I have been noticed that um, lately that I, I have trust issues. That's, that's one of the things I, I, I've noticed that come up, come up in my life. And it's a lot of things that deal with that, you know. It was where I raised, you know, um, being secluded. It's my personality. Um, I'm one of those that, you know, I love talking to people. But when I'm away from people, like I love it. Like, <laughs> like I love, I love, I love getting out and talking to people. I love, you know, meeting people. I love getting conversation. I, I love hearing about people' life. I think that's so, you know, that's so awesome to see a journey of some I, I love other people's journeys. So I, I love I love to talk to other people. Well, I ain't gonna say I love to talk I'm be I gotta be honest. I think I love to listen to other people and I love to talk to other people about God, but I'm one of those dudes that, that never get personal. Like I, I I'm one of those dudes that I don't it's hard for me to open up. You know, I, I think that may be one one of the reasons why I'm single. Because it's hard to let people in on my life, I, I, I just, like I said, I have a problem with trust issues. So I'm sitting talking to God and everything, and I know it's there. I know I'm like, Lord, I, Lord, I need, Lord, I can't, Lord. But like, I'm, I'm holding it back because, like, you know what? I don't know the way I was raised in this Christian life. Like everything is supposed to be good. Like you find Jesus, and everything is supposed to be okay. And that's far from the truth. So I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm being very honest with God. I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm, I'm open up, man. Lord, I, I have these issues of trust. I can't trust people. I can't, I can't trust my, my, the people I'm close to my life. I can't trust my sister, my brothers, my, my friends. I, I can't trust them. I, I don't know why. They, and it's not even they showing me that they're untrustworthy. It's just that I can't trust me, trust them. And, and, and the whole picture of this Christian life is. Even when they show you that they, they're not trustworthy, you're still supposed to trust them. I mean, Jesus told <laughs> Jesus told um, Judas and Scarlet that he was going to betray him. And he still called him friend, right? That's crazy. He still trusted him. Like, Jesus knew who, who, who Judas and Scarlet was all along. You know, Jesus knew that Judas was stealing from him. But Jesus still called him friend. He still called him a disciple. He still loved him. He still trusted him. Now, I'm sure Jesus trusted him only so much, but he still trusted him. And people, even when people show you that they're not trustworthy, I think you still have to have a level of trust. And I don't want to use the word, see, here's the deal. In Christian life, we have to, we have to live in community. It's not meant to be a, a, a selfish thing. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I can get real selfish simply just because I love, I love being to myself. Like that's one thing I, I really love doing. I love being to myself. I love my stuff, and I love what they, where they're gonna be. I love, I love how I, I am when I'm by myself. I love. I, I could. I, I was the other day. I was at the park with the kids, and I just, you know what? I found me a little, a little bench and everything, and I got to myself and just started, you know, getting on my phone and just started writing. You know, I, I love being to myself. I can find a billion things to do by myself, but that's not what Christianity is. It, Christianity is living a life of community. We have to have each other. We need each other. When Jesus started his ministry, the first thing he did was when he got twelve. They needed Jesus just as much as Jesus needed them. Well, Jesus showed that he needed them. I don't think Jesus really needed him, but he 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 wanted that to be the 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 the, 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 the way it went. Community. Camaraderie. I ain't say that word right, I'm not even gonna try it again. <laughs> but that's that's the picture of this Christian life and and 
when we bring to bring it back up the original thing, when we pray to God, be honest with him. He already know that you're falling. <laughs> he already know that you like Adam couldn't hide it. What makes you think you can hide it? Like Adam had the the first sin and he couldn't hide it. So your sins, you can't hide them. So I mean, it's a picture of going to God and be honest with him. Say, Lord, I, I, I'm this. If you have a, 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 a alcohol problem, say, Lord, you know what? I, I, dr I get drunk and, 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 and I, can't, I, I can't overcome it. I need you, right? It's okay to be honest. But a lot of times what we do is we struggle. Like, we struggle with it and, and, and never be honest with God, but we just struggle with it. And like, okay, one day I'm going to get right. I can do this. I can get this. I can get this right. When You know what? A lot of times what you need to do is be honest with God and say, Lord, guide me to someone who can help me out with this. You know, someone who can who, who have maybe been through this and who can help me um, overcome it, you know. You know, it, it, I, I just feel like we need to be honest with God with with our struggles, especially with our struggles, with our sins. Like, the Bible says, confess your sins and he's faithful to forgive. We can't forget the confess part. Like, we have to confess. We have to be honest with God and let him know, you know what, Lord, I, 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 I'm, I'm falling short. And it's okay to be falling short. It is. It's okay. It's but it's not okay to stay at a fallen state. So that whole confession and that whole being honest with God is to lead you out of that sin. Now if you if if you saying, okay, um, I smoke weed and I'm I'm never gonna give it up. I, I love smoking weed. That's not something you even gotta be honest with God about. That, that's a heart that's in love with your sin. That's a heart that's in love with iniquity. And there's a punishment for love and iniquity. But I don't want to really get into too much, too much into that, you know. Um, I just want to say, you know what, if, if, if you have a heart to overcome your sin, if you have a heart to, 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 to win in the fight that you're fighting, be honest with God and tell him. Tell him, be honest, Lord, I'm struggling with this. Be honest with God with the things you're struggling with. Then, then be honest with people. This right here is a, is, is a great therapy because there's a lot of things. That I, well, not a lot of things, but but just for example, that um, the trust issue. That, that's something that you know that's just hard for me. And like maybe somebody out here who's looking at this video, you may have something. You know, hit me up in the um, description below. Comment. Um, uh, email me, you know, um, at I'm um, Third Movement. I'm sorry, I'm um, Third Ministries. Yahoo at yahoo.com. You know, get in touch with me. Get in the community with me. Let me know what's going on. If you like this video, like and subscribe. It's a picture of I'm being honest, so that we can come into community and say, you know what, I can help you with that. And if you if you need help with anything, you know, um, I'm 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 just a dude who loves Jesus, man, and, and, and believe in the word and live by the word and then just always in the word and and find my strength in the Holy Spirit. And the strength that I find, I would love to give to you. I would I would love to help you with. It. I would love to do whatever I can. It's not for me. It's not about anything, but like just seeing people saved. Just seeing people uh, turn from their turn from the ways that they their wicked ways, you know. Seeing people love, and if if you really need anything, just just hit me up. If I can help you, I'll help you. If I can't, I try to point you to somebody that can. That's what I'm third is. You know, we get into community and we do this together. Lace out, I'm third movement. I'm out.